Hello! In this video, I will set up the PIXMA TR4600 series to the computer and tell you what you need to know about the software of this model. I will cover the following in this video. The PIXMA in this video is already installed and connected to my local Wi-Fi network. And you find the setup video in the upper right corner of the screen. This video is quite long and I will also cover scanning documents and photos later on. For the introduction, let me talk shortly on different regional models of this series, as it may be available with different model names in different countries. But in general, the software functionality is identical. With different regional models, there are also different inks compatible. Before I install the PIXMA to Windows, let me share some more software information. Here I put on the screen the software compatibility on this series. For Mac, this model supports AirPrint, so you do not need to install drivers. You can print from all Apple devices. Only for scanning software, you should install the Inkjet Scan utility, which is similar as for Windows and I will cover later in this video. Let's install to Windows PC. In the box of TR4600 there is no setup CD. You can find my detailed unboxing by clicking notification. So I open Canon download page and download the drivers manually. These drivers cover even more different product versions globally. I run the downloaded file, select few simple steps and as my TR4600 is already on the local network, I select the printer and install drivers. Installation has been finished and let's see some printer driver features. Fax and printer driver have been installed on this model. You can send fax directly from the computer. But let's check the printer driver. It's similar to other PIXMA models drivers. From the Quick Setup tab, you can select to print two-sided, as this model already supports auto two-sided print. You can print borderless on various photo media, from 10 by 15 cm to A4 size. With grayscale or draft quality setting, you may save some inks. In the next tab, you can find some more detailed settings. If you need to print on media that you do not find in the driver, you can always select glossy photo paper. Also, if you are using Canon original creative media, such as Rusticable, Magnetic or Iron-on T-shirt transfers, of which you find more in the upper right corner of the screen. You can also play with color intensity or different page sizes available. 
you can customize the page and so on. The last tab is called maintenance, where you find custom settings and maintenance. If you select maintenance, it will run Canon Inkjet Printer Assistant tool, which offers different functions for print head check and cleaning as well, and also auto power off, on or quiet settings. With quiet mode, printer will print slightly slower and pick up paper much more silently. From the printer status window, you can access printer remote user interface. If you know the printer IP address, you can enter it to the web browser and get the same screen. To log in as administrator to your printer, you need password, which is serial number of your printer. From the Remote User Interface main menu, you can access all the settings of your printer. In the video part 5 on TR4600, you will find full connectivity overview and also how to scan to cloud. Firmware can also be upgraded from this menu and you can access the web manuals. From the web manuals, I always recommend checking the get the most out of your printer and in the software tab you find even more information about the software. Here is the compatible software with this PIXMA, of which I will tell you the most important points in the next few minutes. I would like to point out the Inkjet Smart Connect which you install from Microsoft Store. It is simple to install, so I do not cover all the steps. This is your base application for PIXMA. I have demonstrated in more detail in the video in the upper right corner of the screen or link in the description. You find more videos about PIXMA software on my channel. In the last part of this video I will cover Inkjet Scan Utility. This is the Inkjet Scan Utility main menu. From the settings, you can preset the scan settings for each of the main menu options. Here I select Custom Scan and preset my scan settings. I just walk through different options available. But if you want to have highest scan resolution and use advanced scanning options, then you need to run ScanGear. This is full scan driver, it has simple and advanced mode and only in the advanced mode you can select the higher than 600 dpi resolution by entering it manually. Let's see some practical scanning situation for this model. First, I scan a document. I can put it on the plate and glass or in the document feeder. For sure, document feeder is more practical, especially if you have more pages to scan. The document has been scanned and the PDF editor opens the scanned page automatically. Next scan will be a photo. 
For advanced photo scan, I always recommend Scan Gear Advanced mode. You can find more details on how to use Inkjet Scan Utility video on my channel in the upper right corner of the screen or in the description below. This printer is not a specialized photo printer, but can print in a nice quality when using Canon original glossy photo media. And in the last part, I will show how to scan two-sided original document when auto document feeder is only one-sided. Select ADF manual duplex. For this scan, I scroll down to application settings where you find how to open the scan document with application, send to cloud, attach to email, or do the OCR, which stands for Optical Character Recognition. Text from the document will be extracted to the text file. So, here is my two-sided document. I set to the feeder and scan the first page. I am scanning in the real time, so you can see the scanning speed. After first page is scanned, I get on-screen illustrated instructions to follow to put the original back to the feeder, to scan also the other side. Pay attention to the page orientation. Select Scan to scan the second page. Waiting a few moments. And my result is text file with the text recognized from the original. And that would be all in this video. I recommend checking the get the most out of your printer in the web manuals and you can find more videos on Pixma TR series in the playlist on my YouTube channel. Feel free to comment, ask questions and do not forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you will be notified about my future uploads about the printers. Thank you for watching and sharing. Bye.